just going to make a quick video of how I do my uh, metallic print reproduction in Photoshop. I definitely can't take credit for this workflow. I saw it on a YouTube video and I don't remember the user. If I did, I would give him credit. But anyhow, so I've, I've opened up the picture that I want to convert to this uh, metallic black and white. Uh, this is a JPEG. I've, I've used the, the .psd and, and it works fine as well. First thing I'm going to do is uh, make the layer from the background. And then with that layer, I'm going to duplicate it. And we'll just layer zero copy. On that layer zero copy, I'm going to make that an overlay. And on the overlay, we're going to make an adjustment layer. Oh, sorry, we're going to add a filter. Filter. Go down to high pass. On this high pass, I'm going to bump it up to about seven ish. What you don't want is is this uh, bright mark along your horizon here. So I'm going to bump this down to maybe seven just to take that away a little bit. Six point two looks good in this case. Click OK. Now, once I've got that overlay high pass filter on that layer zero. I'm going to add a uh, adjustment layer, gradient map. And this is where I'm going to be changing it to uh, the black and white. Now, there's a few different options in this drop down here. Um, you want the what do we got? The black and white. And this is where you can play and get the tones you want. The your range of, of dark to light. My sky is a bit blown out. I don't like that, so I need to bring that up a bit. And this is not going to be perfect. This is just a quick video. Let's say that's where we want it. Click OK. Got your gradient map. Now, I need to make another copy of my zero layer. I'm going to drag that copy up to the very top of my layers. This is going to be another overlay. High pass filter. This one is going to be much less. I'm only going to use about 2. We'll say 2.3. We've got all that done. Last step is to do add, add a fill layer. This is going to give your sepia tone. Don't be alarmed by the, the black picture. And here I'm going to choose choose a tone that I like. Well, we'll use that one. Click OK. And your layers drop down menu here. I want to choose color. And that's a bit strong, a little bit uh, yellow for me. So I'm going to take that opacity, drop it down to 25%, maybe a little bit lower, just to give it a very slight hint. And, you, and you're done. You can uh, save that. You've got your metallic black and white print from your. Here, let's, let's turn off all these. Just like that. And that's the general workflow I've been using to, to replicate that metallic black and white look, and this is going to take a lot of tweaking, but you get the general idea.